Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Robbie, and today I am Iron Fist. So, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's start the video. to in their presentation be talking about whole foods not processed foods and they are also supposed to be adding a song here and one of the songs that we have here at miss katie's school i'm just gonna this is gonna be bad find the words here i had them here oh is about plants not feeling pain so as long as they have a good song that's about plants and about not harming animals that sort of thing it's all good this is one that we sing here Plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. They don't have a nervous system. Well, yeah, they don't have a brain, so you and them have something in common. No, I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to her. So it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart. You know where to start. Share this song and be vegan from now on. No, I'm not being vegan. So that's one of the songs that we sing here. So let's have a look and see if they are going to meet this criteria. As usual, we are going to be evaluating things that we like, we give a check mark to, and things that we don't like, we give an X. We're also expecting them to be promoting all kinds of vegan foods. So let's go. Looking forward to this. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Like this one because I like Pokemon. I'm just picking it for the content. For you guys. Let's all have some pizza. You want to eat some pizza? Then let's all make some pizza. See? Okay. Mamma mia. Oh my lord. She's gonna get so mad because like pizza has cheese. And if they do pepperoni pizza, she is gonna get off. So far, it's pretty good. They're all cooking as a family. That's good. You got the dad's dad in there with his sleeves rolled up. Everybody's participating. Great family activity. I, the kids aren't. I just happen personally to love this kitchen. It's so colorful. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. Start to eat the dough. Then we toss, toss, toss. Yummy, yummy pizza for our family. Oh, interesting. Adding another language. Teaching kids another language. That's good. I'll give that a check mark. I like that. Yeah, why not? You know, when kids are young, it's a perfect time to start introducing different languages. And the more languages that you learn, the better. All right, she gave them one check mark. So that means they, they might be vegan. And kids are incredible. They're like sponges. They can just soak in many different languages. Sometimes you got one parent that's teaching one language and the other parent is teaching another and then the grandparent teaching a, a third and then they go to, a, let's say, a French school or whatever and it can become amazing. Kids just soak it in. So that's it. I just noticed the guy has a pizza on his head. Okay, I'm not sure how sanitary that is, but I guess it's going to go in the oven. So I guess it'll burn off all the germs. <laughs> One thing I noticed though in this shows, these kind of shows, have you ever noticed that every time something goes bizarre like that, something goes a little bit wrong, it's always the dad that's the clown. So you know what I would like to see one time, I'm not going to give an X for this or anything, it was just a commentary that I noticed. Like, it would, it's rare that the, it would be the mom who has the pizza on her head. The mom's always sort of more the voice of reason and the dad's sort of more the goofball. But anyway, I just thought it's interesting. It would be, it would be interesting to have them do it in reverse. <laughs> Let's all grab a cup, yeah. then okay. we cut, 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 yummy, yummy pizza for our familia. You don't, well, I guess they're like making the little lunchable things, but, like, I don't cut pizza with a cup. Okay, that's cute. Those are very small pizzas, though, for the kids, so. okay. Oh. Tomato sauce? I think it's vegan. Well, yeah, that's vegan. It's tomato sauce. Tomatoes aren't meat or anything that comes from an animal. Check! Check mark! Okay, got our first vegan food there. 
And what the heck? That baby... He has it above his nose. Even when I was, like, little, I couldn't, like, get, it, get food above my nose. Good. So far, so good. <laughs> Next we spread the sauce with a swirl, 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 yummy, yummy pizza from Familia. Are those blueberries? You don't put blueberries on a pizza? <laughs> blueberries on pizza. We like it. Creative. Check! All right. Why not? Okay. I've never had blueberries on pizza, have you? I've had pineapple. That was good. Raise your hand if you like pineapple on your pizza. Oh, I like it. I like any time there's salty mixed up. Nobody here is raising their hand. With some sweet. Just saying. Sweet. That's really good. Uh, you know, I also. But if you are raising your hand, I'm, I'm not saying this to be mean, but you are an odd person. Well, one time I was at Mont Tremblant. I don't know if you guys know where that is, but I'm in Quebec here, and you just drive up into the mountains. It's a famous ski hill, actually. And there, they had this pizza place that had corn on it. He had beans on it, little bits of carrot, but I mean, like, just a little bit, but just enough to make it super colorful, and it was actually really good. I know it sounds crazy, but it was. It was really good. Now, we're just really crossing our fingers here that they're not going to show any animal products, because you know if they do, they automatically get 10 Xs. What? So, so far, so good. Yay! Go, 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 Melon! <laughs> Lots of toppings we can try, try, try. Okay, what she got there? Wait. Okay, that's vegan, that's vegan. That's vegan. Um, yeah, I think that's... Wait, what's this in the middle? I think that might be... That might be cheese, but cheese comes from animals. So if you guys don't know, vegetarian and vegan are two different things. So vegetarian, you can eat things from com that come from animals. You just can't eat animals. But vegan, you can only eat things that come from the ground and nothing from animals. So, yeah, um, let's keep watching. <laughs> oh, what pepper? Cheese? Did you guys hear vegan cheese? Ah, oh, damn! Then try to whip that out. I'm gonna go back. Maybe, maybe I missed it. What have they got there? Olives? What is that? Basil? Peppers? Mushrooms? Shh, they didn't say vegan cheese. <laughs> Damn it! Guys, you cannot be promoting cheese to children. Cheese is like a poison. It is full of fa It's not poison. You know, cheese is kind of good for you. That like, it's not terrible for you. It is full of salt, and it comes from a cycle of violence. It's not okay. You... It's not violence. It's from what God puts animals on the earth from, lady. You forgot to say vegan cheese. You must say vegan cheese. Vegan. That way it's not coming from a cycle of violence. Here's what happens in the dairy industry. They force the males to... I have so many cards here now. Let me see. Look, I can't, I'm trying to keep them organized in this thing here. Is this? Oh, yeah. Here, you, you got to watch this to know what's happening, really. It's awful what they do in the dairy industry. Never buy products from the dairy industry. No cow milk, no cheese, no no ice cream or yogurt that comes from cow milk. Always only... Shut up, lady. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... You can't be giving them eight, I mean, ten X's because they put cheese on their pizza. That's just a common thing. Like, pizza has cheese on it. Eight, nine, ten. <coughs> <laughs> 
Maybe you'll catch up with the check marks. Let's see. Peppers. Yeah, peppers. We like peppers. Oh, yes, peppers. Check mark. Okay. Good. Check mark. Vegetable. Cheese. You're saying it again? Why? Just say vegan cheese and I can give you a beautiful check mark. Another 10 X's. One. Another 10 X's? Two, three, four. This lady is insane. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aw, oh, come on, Coco Melon. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yes. There's no way somebody is this vegan. This lady is insane. Mushrooms, check. What did he say, basil? Oh, nice. How beautiful. Don't you just love that color? It's one of my favorite colors, sort of a light green. It reminds me of summer and spring. Mm. But you know what? That's not enough on there. Hopefully they're going to put a ton more. You've got to have a lot of green leafy vegetables every day. And what is with putting putting the olives like that kind of like all over the place? Did I did they even save olives yet? Wait, I'm going to go back. Cheese. Cheese. Peppers. Yeah. Peppers. Olives. Yeah, yeah, olives. Check. Cheese. Oh my god, this is terrible. Come on, guys. My it's not terrible, it's just normal everyday pizza. Well, I don't eat pizza every day, but. How much you get a check? Cheese! What? A third time you're saying cheese without saying vegan cheese? You forgot to say vegan cheese! Vegan! They weren't gonna say vegan cheese, lady. Not everything is about, is about you. <laughs> Something that is made from plants. Vegan cheese can be made from tofu. It can be made from different kinds of nuts. Come on, guys. It's so easy to not be part of this cycle of violence. Why don't you teach the kids proper morals? If you took these kids and you said to them, Here, do you want this cheese that comes from murdering this baby boy cow, stealing the milk? Yeah, little kids get cheese all the time. It's... It's completely fine. Look, that belongs to him? Or would you like a cheese that comes from plants? Every single kid would say, oh, I don't want you to kill the baby cow. So <laughs> why on earth would you I promote wouldn't. this? Look at these cute kids. One, two, three. Ten eggs? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Terrible. Terrible. They put cheese on their pizza. How disgraceful. Oh my lord. This show is supposed to be rated R, not G. Oh my lord. This lady. Here. We have no right to hurt innocent animals just for our taste pleasure. And every time you consume cheese, it is like paying for the murder of animals. You people who are vegetarian, who think you're doing good, think again, you're not. Being vegetarian is not good enough. It's not good enough to just not eat dead animals. You must also be vegan and not eat eggs, because eggs also comes from a cycle of violence where... Still, like, I don't like vegetarians, but... They murder the baby boy chicks at just one day old because they will never be able to lay eggs. They put them on this giant conveyor belt and they murder And they make chicken nuggets. For them, they cut them up into a million pieces and it's wrong. But thankfully, we haven't heard them talking about eggs yet. And I don't think they're going to put eggs on the pizza. But you never know. People with, you know, these carnist people, they just come up with weird things. Anyway, we're crossing our fingers. Come on, Coco Melon. Do something good. <laughs> They're doing stuff that's perfectly fine, in my opinion. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Making it seem like this cheese falling from the sky is like somehow a gift from heaven. Like it's, like, like it's some sort of snowfall. Like, come on. Yeah. I'm making a video. I'm making a video. You know, it's okay to play with your food, by the way, but not to throw it in the air. It's okay to, like, make piles of it and shape it into different animals and things like that, but don't just throw it all over the place. Mm. <laughs>
Okay, uh, so yeah, okay, I'm not sure what to make of this. So the kid for some reason thought he needed a pile of cheese, which is not good. But the mom is taking it off. So I'm going to take that as a good sign. Check. Good job, mom. Amelia. Wait, what is that? Is that an onion on their faces? Is that an onion? What is that? No. Is that cheese? If that's onion, then these kids are going to be bawling their eyes out. That's going to make them cry. What the heck is that? Okay, I don't even know what to do. I'm not going to put an X or a check mark because I'm lost. I mean, did I miss something? No. Maybe I blinked and you guys know, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we made a yummy pizza. No, we eat the pizza. So let's all eat our pizza. See? Okay, the grandparents are over. You know what's really weird about this also? Do you ever notice when they have cartoon, women's feet are like the size of like nothing? Look at her feet. His feet are about like three or four times bigger than hers. Like why? Is it considered to be like not feminine enough to give her an actual pair of normal feet? And is she barefoot? What is she walking around barefoot as well? She doesn't get to have a pair of shoes? Maybe she took them off at the door. Maybe she was polite. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to give an X or a check mark for that. It's just an observation. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. But still, did you see that pizza? That had way, way too much cheese. Even if it was vegan pizza, cheese, that had so too let's much. All eat our pizza see. Okay, you see that? Look at the percentage of cheese on there versus the green stuff. The green stuff should be a lot. They should also have some broccoli on there. You should be eating cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable, and you should have other vegetables as well. More in abundance, like more more mushrooms and, and more peppers, that sort of thing. You know? Cheese is just sort of like a little decoration on there, not too much. So do I give an X for that? Well, eh, they got a heart on there, so a heart on. A heart on. <laughs> <laughs> they get a heart on. A, a heart on the pizza. Okay, no. All right. Does, like, the pizza is usually, like, covered in cheese. Like, uh, I'm... And this is an, this is an animation. Like, not going to go there. Let's know. keep listening. <laughs> you know what I like, though? The grandmother has gray hair, normal gray hair. She doesn't try to cover it up. Like a lot of these uh, older women do, they always try to make their hair blonde or some other color. Like, that's good. She has a natural color. That's good. You know, because the men, they always let, let them, they always let them have gray hair and look, like he's got a mustache and whatever. It's like, looks like more like a normal person. So good job on the, on the gray hair for grandma. I'm going to give you a check mark for that. Because I like that. Teaching kids that getting old is normal and maybe just give her some bigger feet next time, yeah. <laughs> um, does it, does that, guys, I could eat almost that whole pizza by myself. How about you guys? Does that seem like enough food for everyone? Yeah, I guess maybe four adults each get a quarter. Anyway, where's the drink? Where's the water? Water should be the drink of choice, but at least you're not drinking cow's milk, so that's good. Check mark for Coco Melon for that. Okay. Is there such thing as vegan milk? Maybe. I don't know. Good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to stop eating animals. And remember to tell the truth to kids. I have one here that says, tell the truth to kids. Where's my little sign? I am not going to stop eating animals. I have a sign. Oh, anyway, oh, I can't find that one, but I'm going to remind you about this. Today is your Happy Vegan Declaration Day. I am very proud of you. Don't forget to make a little sign. Put it on your fridge. Today might be the day that you're only getting one of your clicks, right? It takes 100 clicks to become vegan. you got to get the message in your head that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has stated that a vegan diet is appropriate for all stages of development, no matter your age, race, religion, sexual orientation, whatever. Everyone can strive to be vegan, so that's good. And... The thing is that you become vegan gradually. You get the clicks, you get it in your head, you get the message in your heart that it's not good for, to eat animals or exploit them in any way. And then one day you just realize, hey, you know what? I, I've been vegan for a while now and I don't remember when. So if today is the day that you declare you want to be vegan, make
there will never be a day. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.